At the MRC, the necessary precautions to make the clean room as safe of a work environment as it possibly can be are always taken into account. But as most users know, there is no shortage of problems that could come about when you're in the clean room. Therefore, it is absolutely essential for all users to know how to prevent problems from occurring and how to handle a situation should a problem arise. The purpose of this training video is to instruct clean room users on what to do, and more appropriately, what not to do in order to maintain the highest level of safety in the clean room environment. It is very important that you wear appropriate footwear when you are in the clean room. The shoes that you wear act as an added layer of protection against anything that could potentially cause harm to your feet when you are in the clean room. Therefore, it is imperative that you not wear slippers, sandals, or any other kind of footwear that leaves any part of your foot exposed. Do not enter the clean room without wearing your eye protection. Eye protection is offered to each and every user here at the MRC. Therefore, there is no reason not to wear it when you enter the clean room. There are several different types of eye protection available in order to accommodate every user. Regular eyeglasses are not an adequate form of eye protection. Before you can begin handling any type of chemical in the clean room, you must wear the proper protection against the chemical in use. Many of the acids available for use here at the MRC are extremely dangerous and potentially fatal if they are to come in contact with your skin. It is required that you wear a face shield, an acid resistant apron, and a pair of neoprene gloves when handling any kind of acid. It is also required that you wear nitrile gloves when handling any of the strong bases that are available in the clean room. The general rule of thumb when handling chemicals is that the more layers you have on, the better protected you will be if you are to come in contact with them. Whenever you are working with a chemical in the clean room and you need to leave the work area for an extended period of time, you must always place a chemical warning form next to your chemical. This is to prevent any incidents regarding mysterious chemicals from occurring. The chemical warning forms, which can be found throughout the clean room, must be properly filled out with the chemical's information. A chemical spill can be very hazardous to anyone who is in the area. If you happen to spill a chemical when you are working in the clean room, you should never simply abandon it. A staff member must be notified immediately. Once a staff member has been alerted to the situation, they can decide on the appropriate procedure for cleaning the spill up and or evacuating users from the area. If you come across a spilled liquid, do not simply ignore it. You should assume that the liquid could potentially be one of the many dangerous chemicals found throughout the clean room. If you are unsure what the liquid is, but feel there is no immediate threat to you or any other users in the area, you may conduct a pH test with one of the pH test kits which can be found next to all the fume hoods in the clean room. If you are able to confirm that the liquid is something other than water, a staff member should be contacted immediately. If you come into physical contact with any chemical while you're in the clean room, you should immediately proceed to rinse it off with water, especially if it is an acid or a base. There are several locations throughout the clean room where you can rinse the chemicals off at. If a chemical only comes in contact with your hands, you may rinse them off at any of the sinks in the clean room. If you happen to get a chemical in or around the area of your eyes, you should use one of the eye wash stations. If you spill a chemical on any part of your body, you should use one of the safety showers, which are located just above the eye wash stations. In addition to rinsing the chemical off, you should remove any clothing that might have come in contact with the chemical. If at all possible, you should alert a staff member or at least someone who can assist you in getting the proper medical attention. You should also know where to locate calcium gluconate gel if you happen to get hydrofluoric acid on you. If you are using solvents in the clean room and you see that the solvent waste jug is almost full, do not continue to add more solvents to it. 
Even though the overfilled jug presents no immediate threat to you or any other users in the area, it is however very dangerous for the people who have to dispose of the solvent waste. An overfilled jug is prone to spill its contents and because of this, the people who dispose of the waste are more at risk of getting solvents on them. If you see that a jug is almost full, please alert a staff member and they will replace it with an empty jug. You should also remember not to pour your solvents down the sink because it can damage the plumbing. Solvents and photoresists produce toxic fumes that can be very dangerous if they are inhaled. When disposing of anything that has come in contact with these chemicals, you should make sure to put them in a ventilated trash bin, which can be found in several locations throughout the cleanroom. When disposing of sharp objects such as broken glass, broken wafers, syringes, or razor blades, do not put them in a regular trash can. There are trash bins designated for sharp objects found throughout the clean room. These bins have reinforced bags that prevent sharp objects from penetrating them. Do not attempt to do anything to a piece of equipment that you did not learn in your training. In addition to possibly damaging the machine, you may also cause severe injury to yourself or any other users in the area. If you have a problem with a piece of equipment, you should contact a staff member. If you have any discrepancies with another user in the cleanroom, you should attempt to resolve them peacefully or contact a staff member. The cleanroom is a serious work environment where safety comes first and foremost. Any added commotion could potentially cause dangerous accidents to happen. Therefore, it is extremely important that a professional level of conduct is always maintained. When you finish working in the cleaning room, you should always clean up your work area. Other users will eventually have to use this workspace, and because they might be performing a potentially dangerous task, it is very important for the area to be clean and free of obstructions. <laughs>